Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. It's been so long since I have vlogged, but I am back. It's Friday morning, and Andrew brought us donuts. <laughs> Something you don't know about Andrew is that I think donuts might be like his favorite food of all time. He just loves donuts. He's actually not going to work today because he's going hunting this weekend. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stop. So that's what he's going to be doing. Um, so he went out and got us donuts this morning and now I think he's you're going to the gym. And yeah, then, I gotta go lift my weights. And then he's going to head out and leave me for the weekend. So it's just going to be us. We have lots of fun things to do this weekend. That's us. Me and all of my friends on the internet. Oh, I thought you were talking about the cats. No, well, uh, the cats too, obviously. Anyway, yes, it is Friday. I'm gonna eat a donut. I'm gonna drink my coffee. I gotta get work started. And I'll check in with you guys a little bit later and talk to you about what I wanna read, what I wanna do this weekend. It involves a lot of baking. I'm really excited. So I'll talk to you guys soon. So we have been letting the cats outside for supervised visits. <laughs> And uh, I just think it's the cutest thing ever. And Scout fetches sticks. So there's that. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Sorry, this morning was a bit of a whirlwind and I feel like I didn't really capture a very good, good intro. So I apologize for that. It was so weird having Andrew home. He's usually gone at work and yeah, he just wasn't today, but he left for his hunting trip and it's so funny because he does not like hunting or like he's never shown an interest in hunting before. I knew when I married him that his dad and brother and brother-in-law were really big hunters and he told me how he would go out with them when he was really young to go deer hunting and he hated it but when we moved back here he wanted to bond with them more and hang out with them more and so he was like yeah I'll go hunting with you guys this this fall and so now they're <laughs> bringing him out hunting this weekend so it'll be interesting to hear the stories I personally don't like hunting I don't find it fun he can go have fun hunting I'm gonna stay home and be cozy this weekend I'm so excited to be back vlogging I know it has been a minute I just needed a break honestly there's no other reason. I just really felt burnt out. I just really wanted to spend my weekends and like my evenings doing other things. I know it probably seems like videos are fairly easy to work on, but honestly, my schedule looks like this. Film Friday, Saturday, Sunday, rest on Monday, and edit Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and repeat the process all over again. So I don't feel like I get a lot of time to sometimes like just do the things that I want to do or have the free time that I want. So that's just what I've been up to. That's what I've been doing. And I think I just want to maybe normalize taking breaks on YouTube for myself. I don't feel like I'm allowed to take breaks on YouTube. I don't know why, but I think it's okay. It's not my first job. And as much as I love doing it, I need to be better about allowing myself to take time when I need it. So anyway, all that to say, I'm really happy to be back. And I have been, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you might not know that I have started a new hobby, <laughs> kind of out of the blue, but it is cookie decorating. And I absolutely love it. I've been having so much fun. If you watched one of my earlier videos that I made way, way, way earlier this year, possibly in January, I talked about how I really wanted to try different hobbies this year and one of them was cookie decorating. I have wanted to try it for so long, like the sugar cookies with the royal icing, the piping and the flooding and the just, I've, I've always wanted to do it. And so when I took a break, I finally tried it out and I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. I've been sharing a lot of my process and all of it on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you absolutely should. I do share a lot in my stories. I don't post every day, but I like to stay active in my stories and hang out with you guys. And it's really fun like interacting with everyone on there. So that's where I have been and that's what I've been up to. And so I thought it would be fun this weekend to share with you guys what that process looks like as someone who is brand new to it. I am not a professional. I don't know all of the ins and outs of cookie decorating at all. And I know that there's some of you out there that are. It's really been a fun way to be creative and 
just try something new. I just, I needed to try something new, so that's what I did. So that's what this weekend's going to consist of, is making some cookies, decorating them. I'm really excited because I actually just heard back and my mom is gonna come visit me tomorrow, which is great. So my mom is gonna be here tomorrow. She's gonna stay with me until Sunday. So that's gonna be really nice. I love spending time with my mom. So that should be fun. I think we're gonna do some Christmas shopping tomorrow a little bit, drink some coffee, read some books. Speaking of books, I have to say, I have not been the best reader and I feel very guilty about it and I need to work on that because sometimes it's okay to not read and sometimes it's okay to not want to pick up a book and I just feel this immense pressure being a part of this community sometimes to read so many books and get through so many books and the other day I was thinking about it and I was like I feel like sometimes I just get through books to check them off instead of actually enjoying the process of reading the book or being in the story. And I wonder how much that has affected my enjoyment of a specific story. Like something that I could have actually really liked. Maybe I just didn't like it because I was too invested in getting through it for the sake of creating content or feeling like I wanted to be a part of this community. I don't know. It's It's been a weird time for me with reading. I have a lot of books that I'm excited about and that I want to read so badly, but the process of reading I just don't want to do, if that makes sense. I don't want to sit down and read a book, but I'm excited about the books that I have, so it's very conflicting. I have been slowly working my way through Hollow Pox, which is the third book in the Morgan Crow series, and I absolutely love this series. If you know me, you know this is one of my favorite favorite series of all time. I'm obsessed with it and I was so excited for the third one to come out. I started listening to the audiobook, started reading it physically, and I've just kind of hit a wall and I don't want to force myself through it because I'm so scared that it's going to ruin my enjoyment of this book. So I want to read it this weekend. I'm hesitant to say that I will get through it this weekend or read it, especially even if I'm going to have company over, but this is what I have been slowly reading. So I am reading something. I feel like I have to include reading in these vlogs. <laughs> but that is what I've been reading. And also, I'm actually really excited about this book. I picked up this book yesterday. I just wanted to share with you guys because I'm really excited about it. I saw it on Instagram from Kat from Paperback Dreams and it's We Went to the Woods by Kate Dolan Leach, I think her name is. And I saw her post about this and I was like that looks like an interesting book I'm gonna go read what the synopsis is the first thing that I see is that it says for fans of the secret history and the immortalist what the immortalist oh my god okay so that's my favorite book of all time ever and I have never seen any other book compared to that book. So I immediately bought this book. I'm freaking out. I totally want to read it. I'm so excited. I've never read The Secret History, but I know it's really well loved. I think this is kind of like dark academia a little bit. It's like college students. It says, certain that society is on the verge of an economic and environmental collapse, five disillusioned 20-somethings make a bold decision. They gather in upstate New York to transform an abandoned farm, once the site of a turn-of-the-century socialist commune, into an idyllic self-sustaining compound called the Homestead. I'm wondering what about the immortalists is the inspiration of this or like gives those vibes but I w I'm hoping it's just the writing honestly that would make me so happy so yeah I got this book recently and I just wanted to show you guys because I'm very excited about it <laughs> okay also I know this clip is super long so I'm gonna try and speed through this but I have some fun things to unbox for you guys and show you guys because I've been just I've been gone for so long so the first thing I want to show you guys is that I bought the 24 days of matcha advent calendar from David's Tea and it's so cool like Oh my goodness, it's massive, by the way. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, honestly, because you know I love David's tea, and this is just the dream. This is amazing. I have decided that every day for this advent calendar, I'm going to be showing you guys what I get on Instagram. I will put a little slide beforehand on my stories that says like warning spoilers if you don't wanna see it, if you got it yourself and you don't wanna be spoiled. That way you can skip through it. But I'm really excited to share this with you guys every day in the month of December. It's going to be so much fun. 
I just want all the matcha. Speaking of tea, I also got my Sips by box. I got it like yesterday, so it was perfect timing for this vlog and I just thought I'd show you guys. I'd unbox it to see what is inside. Sips by is a tea subscription box that they just send me once a month and there's tea inside. And it's a really fun way if you enjoy tea, if you like to experiment, to uh, try new teas. So I will leave the description to Sips by below if you wanna try it out. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Here we've got the little November teas card and it gives all the information of each tea that they sent me on the back, which I love. They sent me more of these um, paper sachets. So for loose leaf tea, which is what I requested, you can put the loose leaf tea in these little sachets and then you can uh, pop them in your water, which is awesome and super handy. Okay, Woo! I'm excited. So they sent me a couple of these tea drops. Sweet peppermint. Loose leaf tea that dissolves. Interesting, interesting. I am excited to try this. I love a good peppermint tea. I wonder if there's any like added. Okay, so the first, that makes sense. <laughs> So the first ingredient is sugar, which is fine. That's fine. But I had to imagine there was some kind of ingredient that would dissolve quickly. And it said sweet peppermint, so that makes sense. So there's like spearmint and sugar, and it just sounds honestly like a really great time. So I'm excited about that. This one is chai. Ooh, this sounds so good. Just some of the like organic, regular, original chai. I'm very excited about that. This one is an organic yerba mate. Mate? I think it's mate, not yerba mate. Apple blend. Organic yerba, cinnamon, apples, coconut sugar, vanilla. Oh my gosh, I think I might make this later. This sounds so good. That's exactly what I want right now. And then this one is an organic matcha. They sent me matcha. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's so cool. Matcha is usually a lot more expensive, so I'm surprised that I got matcha in here, but that is exciting. I cannot wait to try that. That's so cool. Oh, and then a cute little Christmas card. I'm totally putting that on the fridge. I love it. All right, well, those are all of the things that I wanted to show you guys, catch you up on. It's so fun being back. I am going to grab some lunch because I am on my lunch break for work, and then I'm gonna finish work, <laughs> and then we're gonna bake some cookies. We actually have a fun little FaceTime date with Kaylin and Liv later, which I'm so excited for. I love hanging out with them. And then frosting is also happening tonight. So I'll talk a little bit more about cookies once I'm done with work. I'm so excited, I'm ready for the weekend. But first, we gotta get through work. <laughs> Hello, work is done and I have cookies to make. I'm so excited, I'm so ready. I am just glad it is the weekend. It's been a long week. Also, side note, you guys have been so sweet and asking me like how my job is going and like you've been saying, I hope work is going well for you. And I just, thank you so much. That's so, so nice. Work is going really well. I feel like this week was the first week I really hit my stride and it's just amazing, honestly. It's it's a really, really great fit for me. The company, everyone is so nice. Like, it's ridiculous how nice these people are. And I get to work on like my own special project, which requires like documentation. So a lot of writing. I don't like writing for fun, but I like when it's required for my job. <laughs> so it's been fun to like have a side project and yeah, I just, I love the people that I work with and I'm just really, really happy. I love my new jobs. Thank you so much for wondering. Okay, now let's talk cookies. I am going to get a couple things and I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. Okay, so I have put everything together, what I need to make the cookies. Also, I changed my shirt because you get very messy <laughs> during the cookie making process, at least I do. I get flour everywhere and dough and egg and it's just, it's a mess basically. So I highly recommend changing <laughs> into a shirt that you can get messy. I am going to link the recipe for these cookies down below. It's one that I found online a while ago and I've just been using ever since and I love it. I think it's easy. I think it's Pretty foolproof. I feel like it yields a good amount of dough and I think it tastes really good. So these are the sugar cookies that I personally make. If you have your own that you like to make, 
go with that. Basically, you just need the basics. You need eggs, sugar, flour, baking powder, vanilla, and softened butter. I buy a pack of butter specifically for baking and then like another pack for the fridge because Andrew likes to cook with butter. I recommend getting a pack for the cupboard. So you always have some butter that's softened. Obviously, you want to use it uh, fairly soon. But yeah, it's just easier that way because I always forget to take out my butter the night before. So I usually just get a pack when we go shopping every week and then I have it in the cupboard and I use it. Like I said, I just really like this cookie dough recipe. I feel like it's really easy. Don't overthink things when you're baking. I think that's the biggest tip. I'm a terrible cook. Like I hate cooking. I burn everything. I don't cook for taste or anything like that. I just cook for function. But when it comes to baking, there's just something about it that I love so much more. I only bake these cookies for about eight minutes in my oven and they are perfect. So don't over bake them as long as they are cooked through a little bit like soft on top, but they have like that hard shell that you can kind of feel. Take them out, get them on top of the stove, let them cook a little bit more like while they're still on the pan and they will be excellent and perfect. They are like soft. I'm obsessed. I think the one thing that I still struggle with the most when I'm making cookies is the rolling out process and making sure each cookie is the same size. <laughs> Last week I had a handful of cookies that were super thick and then the other handful that were really thin. That's because I forgot to cut my dough in half actually. Because this recipe yields a pretty good amount of dough, you want to like cut it in half and then roll it out and do it that way. That's at least my recommendation. I think I might actually double this cookie recipe. So there's gonna be a lot of cookies. I actually wanna make two batches, one for each of our families. So one for Andrew's family and one for my family. I have my little cookie cutter collection here. I'm actually so excited because I got something in the mail today. I put in an order with my favorite cookie decorator. Her name is Holly Fox. I will link her Instagram down below. She's amazing. She has her own Etsy site where she creates her own cookie cutters. And they are so cool. I got this really cool candle one. This little mini, like, it's a light bulb shape. I got a heart because I just didn't have one. This little present, it's not even little, it's a pretty big present. <laughs> and then this one I'm so excited about, but also very scared for, but it's in the shape of a mug. So you make like a cute little cup of hot cocoa or coffee. And yeah, she makes it look so easy. <laughs> but I'm really, really excited. So I think I'm gonna use the majority of these part of me wants to this week i think i want to go for a lot of different shapes but maybe more minimalistic on the colors if that makes sense so colors are tricky we'll get there later right now we're just focusing on the cookies so yeah i think these are the shapes that i'm going to do the light bulb the present the candle the mug of hot cocoa and then maybe christmas trees maybe christmas trees Maybe a stocking. We'll, we'll just, you know what? Maybe we'll just do all of them. Maybe we'll just do as many Christmas shapes as we can because why not, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna make these cookies and I'll update you guys soon with how they turned out. Fingers crossed that it's good. <laughs> Okay, so I have about 10 minutes, not even, until I am going to be FaceTiming with Liv and Kaylin. But I just wanted to check in. The cookies are going well. I'm probably about halfway through the dough. I have a good 
amount still left. This is gonna make so many cookies. So I decided not to use all the cookie cutters. I didn't use the heart one or the mug one just because I feel like the heart one doesn't really make sense and the mug, it, it I think it's gonna take a little bit more design work and I just don't really wanna do that. I wanna do more like minimalistic stuff. So I went with the Christmas tree the light bulb, the present, the stocking, and the candle. And I'm very excited. I already have a couple cooling on the counter here. And yeah, I'm just really excited. They're coming out really good. I think I need to get one of those rolling pins that have, they make these rolling pins that have like these stoppers on the end. So your dough when you roll it out is like consistently even. Cause that's just what I struggle with the most when it comes to like the cookie part. But so far so good, I haven't burnt any. So take that as a win. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and FaceTime Liv and Kaylin. I'm so excited. We are just honestly wanting to hang out and chat. We talk every day, <laughs> but we rarely FaceTime. We always say we want to and then we don't. And then it just worked out that we could. And we also wanna talk about some book club related stuff for next year. We're very excited, got some fun things in the works. So that's what we're gonna be chatting about. And yeah, I can't wait, I'm excited. I freaking love them. I think after I FaceTime them, I'm gonna work some more on the cookies, let them dry, and then I do wanna get the icing going as well. We'll see, maybe I'll save the icing to tomorrow. I might do the icing tomorrow morning. and eh, I'll figure it out later, okay, bye. Oh my goodness, y'all, I'm so tired. It is 9.50, <laughs> so basically 10 o'clock. And I just got done making all of the cookies that I possibly could, and they are taking up all of the counter space. I don't know how well that's picking up on the camera, but they're covering my entire counter. <laughs> Ironically, all of them turned out perfect except my very last batch. I don't know how that happened. I genuinely don't. I actually have, they're just too, too done. Um, you can see that maybe that the edges are really brown and I like mine basically underdone when they come out of the oven. So they cook a little bit more and then they're like perfectly soft. So those ones I just overbaked. I don't know how I get all of the other ones before those ones to be perfect. <laughs> I think I took them out too soon and they were like underbaked. I don't know, maybe there was too much flour in them by that point, but anyway, I'm done. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Really the last two weeks, that I've been doing this, I've been making the cookies during the day, during my lunch break, but I didn't have any time to do that today. So I said, well, I'll just do the cookies after work, and then once those are done, I'll just do the, the icing later tonight. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock, if I started the icing now, I would not go to bed until probably like one. So probably just gonna do the icing tomorrow. I do think we'll have like a fairly packed day. I don't know what my mom and I are gonna be doing, but I have a feeling we might be out shopping a little bit, so we'll see what, tomorrow brings, but I might have to do do these in three parts. I will say that this is a tip for anyone who wants to do this, like plan on taking your time with cookies. Like I don't think that they are a get them all done in one day kind of project unless you literally have nothing else to do that day and you wake up early, you make the cookies, you let them cool, you make the icing. Like it's a whole process, so I really recommend splitting it up between a couple of days and giving yourself a lot of time. But yeah, I'm excited that the uh, cookies turned out well. I also had a really fun FaceTime session with Kaylin and Liv. We talked for probably like two and a half hours. We are brainstorming a lot of cool things for our book club and just excited to see where things go with that. <laughs> I'm being very secretive, but I'm just excited. Good things in the works. For the rest of the night, I am really tired, so I think I'm just gonna tidy up the house a little bit so it's nice and clean when my mom gets here. And then I'm probably just gonna go to bed. I'm gonna get in bed and probably pop on like a Lifetime movie and just get really cozy and call it a night. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow, Saturday, and see what the day has in store. Hello, happy Saturday. It is currently 11.50, <laughs> so it's almost noon. I have been really busy this morning, honestly. I woke up at around eight o'clock and have been cleaning the house, which feels so nice. Like, it just looks so good in here. I love when my house is clean and tidy. It doesn't happen often. It might seem like it because obviously that's what I'm gonna post, but trust me, it's not always clean. It's really not. I am now getting ready to make the royal icing for the cookies. 
and I thought I would just talk about it a little bit. Some of you have asked for my recipe for the royal icing. I'm unable to share the exact recipe because I did purchase it from um, a baker, so I'd feel really bad like outwardly sharing that. Obviously, it's not mine to share, but you can easily Google royal icing recipes. There are a lot out there and it's pretty simple. I will tell you that I use three ingredients, powdered sugar, meringue powder, and warm water, and that's it. I did get a couple of questions asking me if the royal icing tasted good, and I will say, when I first tasted it, I was surprised that it wasn't sweeter and that it wasn't <laughs> more enjoyable. It's not bad. It's not a bad taste. It's not the sweetest icing or frosting that you'll have, but I don't think it tastes bad at all. I actually didn't even consider it tasting bad until someone asked me that, and then I was like, oh, I guess it could taste better. So I did do some research, and I did find a couple other recipes that include things like vanilla extract and cream of tartar and things like that. I definitely wanna try that, I think, at some point. But for now, I think I'm just gonna stick to the old tried and true recipe that I've been using, at least for the last three times I've ever done this in my life. <laughs> I also wanted to share with you a couple of other things I use. So I really want to get AmeriColor food coloring. Apparently it's just like the top one that people will use if they do this professionally. And unfortunately there's no retail stores around me that actually sell AmeriColor gel food coloring. But I have gotten instead a bunch of gel food colorings from Hobby Lobby and Walmart. I have some that are Wilton brand that I haven't tried yet. And then I have some that are Sunny Side Up Bakery brand. Those were from Hobby Lobby. So those ones I have been using and they seem to do really well. I will say the first time I ever did these, <laughs> I used like three drops of each color and they were so bright and obnoxious. So now I'm really cautious with how much color I'm adding. Color is really hard. I didn't study art. I don't know color theory that well, but I follow a baker who is called Arlo's Cookies and she has an entire coloring guide. This is literally the color of Arlo's Cookies and I love her color schemes. They're very jewel toned and muted, some pastels. And what's really cool about this workbook is that she actually provides like shades of each color, how to make each color, and then a bunch of color palettes, which is so cool. I did have to buy this, obviously. It wasn't for free. It's an online workbook and then I just printed it out. But it was $30 and I think it's super worth it because I do plan on continuing to do this and colors are just what I struggle with mixing the most. I've kind of just been doing it on the fly so far, which has been not bad, but last week I did end up having to change my whole idea for what I was going with because the colors were just not turning out how I wanted them to. Unfortunately, she does use AmeriColor food coloring, so I don't know if this is going to work in my favor. I obviously don't have the same brand or maybe even the same colors. So I'm gonna kind of use this as a loose guide today. That is all as far as mixing and making the frosting or icing. I keep calling it frosting. <laughs> Either way. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Once I make my batch of icing, that's when I start working on the colors. I would say, honestly, the hardest part about making these cookies is figuring out the consistency for the icing. The first time I did it, my piping icing was way too hard and it was really hard to squeeze out and it was very messy. So watch a lot of YouTube videos. That's honestly what I did was to find to figure out how to create the best consistency for piping and flooding the cookie. And I'll get into that a little bit later. <laughs> I'm gonna work on this icing and I will check in with you guys soon. Hello, it is 9.30 at night. <laughs> and I have kind of failed at vlogging today. I'm so sorry. It has been a really busy day. It's been a really good day, but it's been very busy and just jam-packed with all the things. My mom is here. Hi, mom. We are spending the weekend together. She's working on my puzzle. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So you guys know my mom is the puzzle queen. So she was like, I have to come over and finish your puzzle for you. This is unacceptable. <laughs> this is the puzzle that I've been working on uh, for months. If you've watched my vlogs, I think I started it 
uh, yeah, probably two months ago, and it's not finished yet. So she's here finishing it for me. <laughs> I finally got my colors done for the icing for the cookies, and it has been a journey <laughs> tonight. You guys know that I got that printout guide of all those colors, and so I was going to use it as a guide to go off of when I was creating these cookies, <laughs> and I tried my best. But basically, it just didn't work out. I could not achieve the correct colors. So I really think ultimately I just need to invest in the AmeriColor food coloring and then I should be good to go. Long story short, I made my first three colors and they were... <laughs> they came out very farm-like. I have no other way to describe it other than they came out looking like farm colors. <laughs> like carrots and spinach yeah peas and like eggplant and there's nothing wrong with those colors it's just not what i was trying to achieve so i saved the colors they're in my freezer and i'll use them at some point but they just weren't what i was hoping to achieve so i ended up going pastel again i feel like pastel is just safe and like i know how to achieve a pastel so <laughs> i went pastel thinking that was going to be easy but now i have just basically made a bunch of Easter colors <laughs> and I told my mom that these are going to be the most Easter looking Christmas cookies you've ever seen. So here are all of the colors. They're very pretty. I love a good pastel. Don't get me wrong, but they're just Easter. That's all I can think of. So hopefully they'll look good. I wanted to frost some cookies tonight because then I can send some home tomorrow with my mom to give my grandma um, because my grandma has, you know, obviously been alone during the pandemic and I miss her a lot and love her a lot. So I wanted to make her some cookies and I also got this really cute tin from Target to send with her. I don't know why I'm so excited about the tin, but I am. I think that's all as far as an update goes. I have not read. I have not really done anything else. We went to Target and to Goodwill to get a few things for Christmas shopping. Didn't really like find much. I actually just found this <laughs> wicker basket <laughs> because I am the wicker basket queen, self-appointed. I really like it. And then I also got actually this really cute binder. Isn't it so pretty? I, I'm just obsessed with it. I want this as wallpaper in my house. This is where I put the little printout guide of all those colors so super excited about that oh also okay this will be my last thing but i had to show you guys i found the cutest mug on amazon the other day and i forgot i ordered it so it was a nice little surprise when it showed up on my doorstep but oh my gosh okay i'm very excited about this so let me try to figure out how i want to present it it's christmassy it's this adorable like white mug with garland and gold bowls and gold bowls <laughs> said that like such a northerner gold bows <laughs> and like a gold rim around the top and it comes with this golden tea steeper so basically you put your loose leaf tea right into here and it's a strainer and then you pop it in here and you pour your hot water and then you take it out when it's done steeping and it comes with this little lid. So you pop that on here, you let the tea steep. Once you're done, you take the lid off, you turn it this way, you take out your little strainer and you put it right here. It's so cute. I love this so much. I'm just a sucker for a good Christmas mug and I just, I love it. So I will link it down below. It'll be in my Amazon favorites link. If you click on that, it'll take you to my little list of all of my Amazon favorites, whether it's home decor or coffee slash tea related things or fitness, wellness things. So all of those things are there and you can find that mug as well. So, okay. I'm gonna go. I am gonna frost some cookies, but I will probably call it a night and check in tomorrow. I'm not gonna be frosting all of them. So I will take you through more of the frosting journey when I return tomorrow on Sunday. Hello, so it is actually Monday. <laughs> I thought about 
pretending it was Sunday and just telling you guys like, oh, hey, hi, Sunday. But you know what? I'm just gonna be really honest and transparent that yesterday after filming all weekend and doing this, I got really insecure about this vlog because it's a little different than all my other vlogs in the sense that I typically am reading a book or doing a haul or other things and this vlog is simply baking. I just realized that it's all about these cookies and I got really insecure about it and decided yesterday that I was just gonna scrap the whole video and not do it because who wants to see an entire vlog about cookies? <laughs> I think sometimes as a creator I can just get really insecure and as a nine too on the Enneagram, I consistently struggle with those thoughts of who would want to see XYZ? Who would want to see me do blah blah blah? And I just had to kind of, I don't know, take a day and wrestle with that. And then this morning I woke up and I was like, you know what? Half of the video, more than half of the video is already filmed. And even if it gets lower views, it still was a fun weekend for me and I still do want to share it because I've really been enjoying making these cookies and trying something new and I hope that even if I put this out there and inspire one person to try it or one person to try something that they've been wanting to do and putting off, then it's worth it. So I am back and it's Monday. I'm currently on my lunch break and let me catch you up. So this weekend I hung out with my mom. She actually did finish the puzzle. We stayed up until like midnight and it was so nice. We just hung out at my dining room table. She did a puzzle. I did some cookies and we just talked and hung out. And I just absolutely love that. My mom is one of my best friends of all time and I'm so thankful for her. I actually did end up finishing yesterday an entire batch of cookies. It's probably like two or three dozen. And then I still have a ton of naked cookies left, so I had to make more frosting today in order to be able to frost those. I just got done mixing up more colors. Let me show you guys. They're similar to the colors that I made on, um, what day was that? Friday? Saturday? I can't even remember. They are like more pastels again. I actually like these colors a little bit more because the blues and the greens, they're a little bit darker. But I have to say, you guys, after I did those Easter <laughs> Christmas cookies, the colors actually look really good. They're just pure pastel and fun. I'll show you a little clip right now as I'm talking of how the cookies turned out. I absolutely loved them. I did send them back with my mom to have her give them to my grandma and I really hope that they make her smile. I really enjoyed making them for her and I think that they actually turned out pretty dang good. I have a couple minutes left of my lunch break, not too many, but I will really quickly go ahead and talk to you guys about the frosting process of these cookies. Basically, when we're making our icing, you wanna make two consistencies of the icing. You want a piping icing, and then you want a flood or a fill icing. And the piping icing is going to be thicker, consistency-wise, than the flood icing. So you just wanna keep that in mind. The way that I work is that I make a big batch of the white icing, regular, no color added, and then in a little mixing bowl, I take as much icing as I need to fill two of the piping bags for both piping and flood consistency. In that mixing bowl, I mix the color, get it to where I want, and then I put a little bit in for piping, and then the rest of it, you add a little bit of water to thin it out, and then you pour the rest of that into your piping bag for flood icing. <laughs> I'm not trying to teach you. This was not intended to be like a DIY video. I do recommend looking up some awesome videos out there. They are out there. I've watched them myself and they were super helpful. But that's just kind of the process I take. I have been learning that I don't need as much piping icing as I always think that I do. I probably use half the amount of piping icing that I need and then I always run out of flood icing. So I recommend doing less piping icing in your piping bag or outline icing and then more for flood. And then basically I just cut a little bit off of the tip of the piping bag and then I squeeze it on the outline and then once the outline is done I fill it in with the flood and I'll show you guys a little video of me doing it but this is the fun part. This is the best part. <laughs> I'm so excited to get started on these cookies with these colors. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So here we go. I've been longing for this Christmas Everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's 
a time of happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter and I'm about to work out. It was one of those days at work where I just, it's slow because it's close to the holidays, so it makes me just not productive at all, <laughs> which I don't like feeling that way. It's always kind of fun to have a little bit of that, but sometimes I'm just like, oh, what did I just spend my day doing? <laughs> Like just getting distracted <laughs> but I only got a couple of cookies done during lunch so basically the plan for the rest of the night is I'm gonna work out because I've been feeling so lethargic and just tired and meh today so I'm gonna work out Andrew is doing actually a little orientation for a part-time job that he's thinking of taking and then when he comes home we have to run to Target and stock up on a couple things and then when I get home I will do more cookies and that'll pretty much be the rest of my night. So I'm going to work out. Side note, I finally put together my little bike right here and it's basically like a Peloton knockoff. So I got this bike on Amazon. It's also linked in my Amazon faves website thingy and I really like it. I've been doing it for the past three weeks I think and it's so fun I do this bike and then I have the Peloton app which is free for 30 days and then it's $12.99 I think a month or just $12 a month and I either have it on my iPad or I can also stream it to my living room TV which is awesome so I pretty much just hop on the bike and sometimes I'll do a 20 minute workout sometimes I'll do a 30 I haven't gotten to a 45 yet honestly they're a lot harder than they look but they're so fun because they're like music driven I really like it and it's just been the perfect thing for me because it's been too cold to go outside and go for a walk walks take a lot of time honestly like a good lengthy walk like sometimes I don't feel like going out for a walk for an hour sometimes I just want to hop on the bike for 20 minutes and feel like I blasted through a workout so it's been a lot of fun I highly recommend if you can't afford a peloton like me it's a perfect alternative in my opinion so definitely recommend especially if you're looking for something to do other than obviously going to the gym or needing to find something to have in your house during like the Christmas time or the winter season. I just really like it. Okay, anyway, <laughs> that's my little bike review. I am gonna work out and then we're gonna head to Target and I'll check in a little bit later. It is currently 10.39, so basically 10.40, and I have my tea seeping in my little mug. I love this thing so much, like so much. <laughs> and you can even use it like twice like I've steeped this same tea twice and it's still very good so I love this thing <laughs> I'm currently drinking the Valerian Nights from David's tea it's one of my favorite nighttime teas it's very like soothing and calming and it just puts me right to sleep so I highly recommend if you're looking for a good sleepy time tea the Valerian Nights from David's Tea is where it's at. Okay, so obviously it's much later. I'm back in my jammies and it's 
been a long day. I'm so tired. I ended up getting to go to Target, which was good. Andrew didn't come with me, but I did get to go and get the things that I needed. They're actually doing their Black Friday throughout these weeks, so they had some really good deals. And I got a really cute sweater for like 10 bucks originally 30 I think which was crazy and then I got a waffle maker I'm so excited this waffle maker was like originally $50 and I got it for 20 and I love waffles you guys I swear every time I sit here to film one of my cats has to go behind me and bathe themselves it's so embarrassing Misha can you just lay down Thank you. Once I got home, I was able to get working on more cookies. I didn't get them all done, but I got a good portion of them done. And I think they look really good. They're really bright, which I really like. I'm not fully done with them, but I'll do a little movie magic and show you an overview of them now as they have been since completed within the next few days. I love these cookies. I think they're so cute and I just had so much fun making them. So I hope that it wasn't too boring. I hope it was kind of fun and entertaining to watch this process and you should definitely let me know in the comments below if you plan to make these cookies, if you plan to make royal icing cookies at all. I would love to know if you do any. Tag me on Instagram. I want to see. I'm just so into it right now. <laughs> it's so much fun and it's perfect for the holiday season. So I do know that I've talked a lot about cookies already in this vlog. I don't want to even know how many times I have said the word cookie, <laughs> but I did ask on Instagram if any of you had any questions for me regarding these cookies. I tried to answer them throughout the video, but I'm just going to check and make sure that I didn't forget any so I can answer your questions. This one asked how long do they take to make from baking cookies to icing. I kind of talked about this earlier, but I really recommend giving yourself a few days, especially if you're a busy person and you have a regular job, all that stuff. If you have one solid day you want to set aside and do these, you absolutely can. It's totally doable. But I do recommend giving yourself a couple of days if you don't want to just dedicate an entire full day to making the cookies. What resources did you learn? Like blogs or YouTube videos? Yes, a lot of YouTube videos, probably mostly YouTube videos. And then since then I've been actually following and searching some Instagram accounts and they usually have like tips in their highlight reels. I will link below some of the videos that I watched to learn as well as some of my favorite cookie Instagram accounts that I'm really crushing on right now. Definitely recommend checking those out if you want to give this a try. <laughs> Someone said, are they delicious? Do you deliver? <laughs> I don't deliver, but I really, I don't know. It would be really fun to make this maybe like a side business. It's kind of a pipe dream. I feel like it's always been my dream to be able to make my passions and my hobbies my job, like actually be able to sustain my living off of that and pay my bills. But I think part of me is just like, that could never happen. I don't know. I don't know. So it's kind of a dream. I don't know how well they would deliver. <laughs> I'd have to look into that. But that's really sweet. If I ever deliver them, you guys will be the first to know for sure. This question is so cute. Best cookie to eat while reading. Oh my gosh. Honestly... The sugar cookies would be really good to eat while reading, but I feel like you can never go wrong with like a solid chocolate chip cookie and like a cup of coffee. I'm much more of a scone person with my coffee if I'm going for something sweet, but you can never go wrong with a chocolate chip cookie. That just sounds delicious. Favorite type of cookie? My favorite type of cookie actually is a white chocolate chip macadamia nut cookie. Oh my Gosh, they're so good. That is the best. What inspired you to start cookie decorating? I don't know. I've just, I've seen those really cool videos <laughs> where they time lapse it and make it look so fast when really it's really not. You should go slow. <laughs> I have a couple people that I know in real life who do baking and I've seen people do it and I just was like, okay, this seems obtainable. I'm naturally a very creative person anyway. I've always kind of put my creativity into different outlets my whole life. I'm never doing the same thing. I've done embroidery, I've colored, did the mini dollhouse for a while, I've done puzzles, songwrite, 
painting like I just I get into these creative zones and they just give me a life as someone who I think needs to express herself creatively so I don't know I just wanted to try it I also do really like baking I am a terrible cook terrible but baking I can actually do so it just feels like a really nice accomplishment to finally try it out and be not too bad at it. Still have a lot to learn, but not too bad. Someone also asked what I do with all the cookies that I make. That's a really good uh, question. Currently, I've just been pawning them all off to my family members that live in the area, and they've been very happy with that. It is a little heartbreaking. The other day, I actually sent them to work with Andrew to share with his coworkers, and it hurts a little bit because it's like, you spend hours, I spent hours on it, and each cookie is like hand done, and to just be like, okay, bye, go get eaten. <laughs> it's a little sad, but also it's kind of fun too, and it's really life-giving to get some good feedback from people and hear that they really enjoyed them, they tasted good, they looked good, so yeah, that's what I've been doing so far, but who knows, maybe, maybe I can start selling them, I don't know. Okay, well, thank you so much for watching this vlog if you did. I do apologize if it was a little bit boring or a little bit one note. I really try to make my vlogs a variety of different things and as entertaining as possible, and I'm just feeling so insecure about this one. So I am sorry if this was not your cup of tea. Totally understand if you skipped it. Totally understand if this doesn't get that many views. But... I'm going to put it out into the universe anyway, because why not? Why not? I love you guys so much. I hope that you're doing well. If you have any suggestions for me on the videos that you would like to see from me this holiday season, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm trying to come up with ideas, but I'm having a hard time, honestly. So if there's something specific that you want to see from me in a vlog or a specific video, whether it has to do with reading or anything else, let me know. I would love to try and prioritize those types of videos, the ones that you guys want to see. But thank you guys so much again. I love you, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye! Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time